Now there are a thousand of composition notebooks selling on Amazon. However, I'm going to be showing you how to use AI tools in order to create unique books that will stand out amongst the crowd. This video is going to cover four easy steps to help you upload your composition notebook. So first of all, we're going to do a little bit of research to help you narrow down a niche, then the composition notebook cover creation, then finding an interior, and then finally uploading to Amazon KDP. So for research, it's important that you create what people are looking for and you also validate your idea. And for research, I mainly use Amazon using two free tools. And the first is AMZ Suggestion Expander. And this is going to give you a lot more keywords so you know exactly what people are searching for. And the second is self-publishing titans. And this is going to give us more specific numerical data so that we can validate that idea. Now we're going to go to the search bar and type in the specific book that we want to create, which is just composition notebooks. And then the AMZ expander is going to give us a lot of the words that people are searching for. So you're going to be able to get so many different kinds of ideas about books to create. And what you want to do is click on any that interests you. So in this instance, we're going to go with composition notebooks aesthetic and then I like to take a look through the books and find some keywords that we can put into the search bar. So we can see that this book here has got a really low BSR of 33,000. Anything under 100,000 is amazing. And we can see some words such as vintage and botan botanical. Then the two to the far left also have really low BSRs. And we're seeing the same kind of keywords again of vintage and botanical. So what we can do is go back to the search bar again and just type into the search bar some of the words that we found on those books that are doing really well. So first we can try botanical and just see if people are actually searching for that. So we can see that yes, it's come up in the search bar. So we can just have a click of that and then see what type of results that we get. And we have a much lower search result, 855. So there's less books to compete with. And we've got more chance of getting on that first page and getting a sale. So we can see that this first book here has a really low BSR of 47,000. But they're also running ads as well. But we can get an idea from that. They've kind of got a lunar moth butterfly um, idea. So that's something that we might want to think about and note down. Then if, if we have a look at this next book, it hasn't made any sales yet. So we're not going to look at that. But this third book, again, with a really low BSR of 37,000. And it's just a vintage bot botanical illustration. So it's kind of a floral design that we can again think about. And this third book is the same book as the first then if we take a look at the fourth book as well still has a good bsr of roughly 250,000, and it's just um, antique wild plants then the fourth book that's not a low content book so we can skip through that and then this fifth book here is has a bsr of over a million they've created a red poison mushroom cover which isn't getting too many sales. Then this next book here, um, it's got a BSR of 450,000. I've gone with a fruit and flowers. So it's something we wanna take a note of. We've got another mushroom um, vintage botanical illustration here, and that has a BSR of 45,000. And the book after also has a really good BSR of 33,000 based on bees. And I'm noticing quite a few of these books are by the same author, CC Wanderer. And this author has created a lot of quality books in this niche and could possibly be running maybe lottery ads in order to get more traffic to these books. So that might be something that you want to think about when creating your composition notebooks. And I've done a video on these very low cost ads that are going to get a bit more traffic to your composition notebooks. Is it? is quite a competitive niche and it can be challenging to get into but we found an in-demand niche so what we need to start doing is creating the cover and the interior so for the second part for the composition notebook cover creation we're going to be using an ai tool called mid journey and you can take a look at some of the vintage botanical designs that I've been working on. You can see the just the level of detail and high quality that Mid Journey is able to create. And just scrolling through, you can see the various designs on the far left, you've got a floral. Next to that, we've got blue butterflies, uh, more butterflies there, and then moth to the far right hand side. Then we've got some more floral designs and moth designs. To the far left, you've got a bee design and followed by more botanical uh, 
designed for you to take a look at. So it's just about learning the right type of prompts to type in in order to get the design that you want. In this video, I'm not going to go through all the basics of Mid Journey. I've already done that in a previous video. But if you've paid, if you got a paid subscription, then you're going to get your own bot rather than being in one of the newbie rooms, which can get a bit messy. So you can take a look at some of the prompts that I've already done. And this will give you a good idea how to get started with your own designs. So we can see that for these four images, the prompt that I have put in is vintage botanical illustrations. I put floral, I put pattern, then I put dash dash AR, which is just aspect ratio two and then three. And this is just gives us a more portrait design rather than the rectangle that it usually provides us with which is a lot more useful for the books that we'll be creating so you've got a few options below u1 2 3 and 4 is just to upscale any of the images that you do like and then v1 2 3 and 4 is just to create variations of any of those images that again you like but you just want some slight changes so we have upscaled number three and it has come out with a nice floral design now if you want to start creating your own prompts and designs then you're going to need to come to the bottom and put forward slash imagine then it's going to allow us to start typing in our own prompt so if we're going to follow the designs that i've created just make sure that you put in vintage botanical illustrations comma and then let's say we wanted to do something on butterflies or, or pink butterflies then we put pattern and then we put aspect ratio two and three then i've sped it up a little bit so it's already created the designs and if you like any in particular let's go with we like number one then all you need to do is click to upscale number one and then it's going to create a high resolution image in which you can choose to download it but in order to download it what you're going to need to do is go over to where it says web and click on that and then just make sure you click yep and then it's going to take us to a page where we can save and download this design. Now what you can do if you are struggling for ideas or prompts is just to scroll further down the page where we're going to see a section where it allows you to explore related designs then all you can do is just hover over and take a look at the prompts that other people have used to type in in order to get the design that's been created. Next, what we are going to need to do is improve the resolution of the design just to be able to see the more intricate details. And for this, the best website I've found is bigjpg.com as this allows you to at least upload five, five PNG files during a seven day period and the quality is outstanding. So just make sure you select your image that you want to upload and then click start and just make sure you choose artwork. The most you can upscale is four times and the noise reduction is not needed but upscaling it four times is more than good enough if you wanted to do it eight or 16 times you have to get the paid subscription and then once it's done we're going to take a look and compare both designs so if we just take a look at the one on the far left that's created in mid journey then the one to the far right is the upscaled image and you can see the closer we get on the far left it does start to get quite blurry whilst on the far right the more that we zoom in on the upscaled image, you can still really see the intricate details really clearly. And that's the importance of upscaling this design, just so that when you do enlarge it in Canva, your cover, that you still are able to see the intricate designs and details. Now, if you're like me and you create a lot of designs on Mid Journey to sell on Amazon and other marketplaces, then you are going to need an upscaling tool. And this is the cheapest I found so far. So even for the $6, you get to upload over 500 files each month over a two month period. You've got a standard offer for six months, which is $12 and you get to upload over a thousand files each month. And finally the premium, which is for a duration of 12 months, only $22. And each month you get to upscale over 2000 files. So once the files have been upscaled, we're gonna to need to go over to KDP cover calculator and then 
enter all our information in order to get the correct dimensions for the cover. So we know it's paperback, black and white, white paper, uh, left to right. We know that the book's inches and the interior trim size is 7.5 by 9.25. Then finally, the page count I usually go for is 120 pages. Then we just need to calculate the dimensions. Then it's going to give us all the information in order to get our cover size correct. So for the full cover, we know that it's 15.52 by 9.5. And then what we can do is just go over to Canva in order to create our cover because it's free and everyone's able to have access to it. So in Canva, to start creating our cover, we're going to need to go to the top right hand corner and click create a design. And then we're going to need to put in the dimensions that we know from KDP cover calculator, which is 15.52 by 9.5 and click create a new uh, design. So then it's going to come up with a blank page. I've already created some covers. So all you need to do is create the spine first of all, which is pretty easy to do. And all you need to do is go to elements and find a square and then you can stretch it out so that it becomes a spine and I've kind of matched it with leaves so that it just looks really nice. Then the next part is just you need to upload the designs and then you put it on one side and then just flip it over onto the other side. Then add some text and you can do that using the far left and then just put down the word composition notebook. Then all you need is three lines below that so somebody can maybe write their name class or whatever they want in that section and then you can also see i've created uh, another cover using the b designs in mid journey which look really good as well and once you do have this template then the covers are interchangeable so you can create quite a few different interesting covers now to download it all we're going to need to do is go to the top right hand corner click share and then go over to download make sure that we put it down as a pdf print and then select the specific cover that we want to download and then make sure that it's CMYK as best for printing. You will have to have the Canva Pro subscription in order to download it in this way, but you can try it free for 30 days and cancel at any time. Now for the interior, we're going to be using Creative Fabrica and that's just a digital marketplace that has interiors, fonts and so many tools which are useful for our KDP business. Now all you need to do is type in Composition Notebook at the top and then search for the size and the amount of page that you need. Make sure commercial usage is allowed. Then all we need to do is download it. I'll also include a link in the description for an all access free trial and you'll get access to Creative Fabrica's graphics, fonts, classes and much more and the subscription will renew at $9 a month and you'll have personal, commercial and full print on demand use of all the files included and you are able to cancel anytime. And for me, this is just going to save you so much time rather than creating this in Canva where having to do all the individual lines is just going to be really time consuming. So this final step is just going to be uploading your book to Amazon KDP and all you need to do is go to Google and type in Amazon KDP. Uh, setting up your account is pretty easy um, and then once you've done all of that you'll find this page and then you just need to click the create button and then create paperback. That's what we'll be focusing on today. The first thing we're going to need to do is choose a title which is just composition notebook then subtitle including all the important keywords that's going to help our book rank and just make sure that we're not keyword stuffing. Then after this you just need to choose your author name, choose something that's unique. Then after that we just can, we're just going to create a description. I'll actually use chat GPT for this just to create a hook uh, and then a book description uh, and then a few bullet points. Quite simple to do. Then we just need to tick that we own the copyright. Then you need to make sure that you fill in the seven backend keywords. Make sure you find words that are all relevant to your book to ensure that your book does rank really well. And after this you've got the category. So make sure you choose two categories for your book. Tick that it's a low content book and then tick no if your book does not contain bad language or inappropriate material. And then we're on to the second part. 
and you're not going to need an ISBN as it's a low content book. Just make sure that the book is black and white uh, interior with white paper. Then you need to make sure you select your book size. In this instance, we know 7.5 by 9.25 that it is bleed as the lines are going to go all the way to the edge and you can read if you don't understand that. Then I always go with matte for my composition notebooks. Then we just upload in the interior and the cover, which can sometimes take a little bit of time. Then as soon as they're both uploaded, you can click launch previewer and then you're going to see your book come up and you just make sure that there's nothing wrong with the book and that no errors are coming up or there's nothing that needs to change and then just take a look through the interior and through all the pages and once you're happy with everything then all you need to do is make sure you click approve and scroll down to the bottom of the page and you're going to see the printing costs then click save and continue and here you just need to select the price of your book i always go with 5.99 for my composition notebooks i price it competitively um, and then i round all the other prices to 99 as well and you can see your royalties how much you'll make for each marketplace and then you just scroll down to the bottom once you're happy with everything and then publish your paperback book so thanks for watching another video any questions leave them in the comments section and you can check out this video of how to make coloring books with mid journey here